With less than two weeks to go before the opening ceremonies, Winter Olympic organizers in Vancouver are sweating. Warmer than average temperatures this month have produced more rain than snow at one of the main venues. On your right, you'll have the moguls competitions, and on the left, you'll have the aerials competitions. The problem is on Cypress Mountain, just outside the city of Vancouver, where the freestyle skiing and snowboarding events are planned, and where it feels a lot like spring. You know, my garden has crocuses coming out already. The warm weather has made snowmaking at lower elevations impossible, so artificial snow from higher up is being brought in. So far, over 300 truckloads have arrived. Helicopters are being used to drop some 800 bales of hay, which will be used under the snow to shape the slope. We have enough snow on the mountain to do what we need to do. There's plenty of snow at nearby Whistler Mountain, which is at a higher elevation and is the site for most of the alpine skiing events. Experts blame the wacky weather on El Nino. The temperatures have been higher than normal, so what falls does not fall as snow. Forecasters measuring Pacific Ocean warming trends knew the El Nino effect was on its way back in July of last summer. Still, that was too late to rearrange venues. Historically, you just never know with Winter Olympics weather. At the 1964 Austrian Games, the Army had to be called in to haul snow down the mountaintop. At the 1988 Nagano Games, there was too much snow. You're going to find the International Olympic Committee demanding of organizing uh, committees for the Winter Olympics. What's your contingency plan in case there's not enough snow? The athletes in Vancouver say they're ready to compete even on a half pipe made of hay. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.